I just, this is just a great feeling. Um, I entered Morocco a couple years ago and actually came from talking text. And I entered Morocco with the idea that hopefully we could build the program up and we knew it would take some time. But because we've been able to latch on to two very, very good imports throughout the second and third conference and with the local players developing and improving as the year went on, uh, this is the result. So I always admit that Alan Dorham is the cornerstone, he's the foundation, but the local players have really stepped up, particularly Cliff Hodge in this game tonight. I think we've come a long way since the first conference where we really were pretty bad and I'm happy that they've finished the year off on a good note. Obviously it's not over yet, we still have a championship series to play, but I cannot be more proud of my players tonight for the effort they put in. That long last they're in the finals. Congratulations to Meralto, they played a good series. And to have beaten a team like Tokem Tex for three straight games is quite a feat. So they deserve all the congratulations and a uh, job well done. No, we, uh, they were well coached and the team played with a lot of intensity and commitment and, uh, and energy, so, which I did not see in Tokem Tex for the last three games. Uh, they wanted to win more. You know, it, it's it's special coming out of retirement and going one and ten. I'm, I'm just proud of uh, of the guys. You know, it's not easy to finish dead last and to have this quick of a turnaround to get to the semis, have a chance to get to the finals, and still come back and still keep pushing, still keep fighting, and and, and to give ourselves a chance. I mean, you know, going into the series, I don't I don't think very many people gave us you know, a chance to be talking text. The way that they've been playing, they, they literally dominated uh, the entire conference. But, you know, guys guys just really came together and then everybody, you know, played their part from guys like Brian Faundo and, you know, of course, Cliff and New and Basser. I mean, the, the list goes down and, and that's really what it took. That's, it, it took a, a monster team effort from, from all of us to, to beat a championship team like talking text. I definitely feel that our team defense kind of, kind of frustrated them. Uh, talking text as a, as a whole. As far as my job on Jason, I feel like uh, I accomplished that by bringing his percentages down a little bit and uh, forcing him to take tougher shots. And also, um, we put a lot of pressure on the other guys in order for them to try to make plays, also not just Jason. years and I know that uh, last conference uh, we had a chance to get there and I was just super hungry and I just I knew that with JD down someone's gonna have to step up and I just try to step up as much as possible. I was actually speechless after the game I didn't, didn't know how, like it was just a surreal feeling and um, I mean now that we finally got here and uh, we don't want to waste it because I mean it took us four years to get here so we're gonna come out and try and win this. Uh, I, I want well, Hanebra. I love playing against the crowd and I mean, when it's a big crowd, everyone's feeding off that adrenaline. Thank you for staying with us through this journey. Uh, the first conference wasn't pretty. Uh, these last two conferences is more what we want to get to and uh, just keep supporting us. Come out to the finals, it's gonna be great.